Hey everybody, this is Everest Paradox, and welcome back to Inky. So, we just got done with our first attempt in the game. Now, this is a game that, for those of you who haven't watched the first two episodes yet, is a somewhat randomly generated survival horror puzzle-solving sort of mix mash, which I really like, because it does delve a lot into religion and lore and mythology, but we're going to go ahead and give it another attempt, knowing what we knew now. Um, I'm assuming some of that stuff is not going to roll over into the next playthrough, but we're going to see where we get. So let's go ahead and hit continue. I'm guessing that's going to take us back to the main menu. But we died. We ran out of time because this game, the entire game is timed. So we ran out of time and we got gassed to death ish. But now we if nothing changes in the in the cell, we should know exactly how to get out of the prison cell, which is a little bit weird. But that being said, this is a very interesting game, and I really appreciate Graham Barrett for recommending this game to me, because I love games that have to do with mythology, and this is just sort of right up my alley. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to read the, the lore stuff a little bit quicker, since I'm not going to be going into it this time uh, as much as I did in the first playthrough that we did, because there's a lot of book reading. That involved. I'll 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 pick up on the stuff that has not been talked about, like new books, but any of the old books I'm not really gonna go over. But for the most part, as a general overview, um, we've been kidnapped by a cult who is harvesting humans for the essence of life, and they worship a a god or set of gods. I haven't actually figured that out yet, but. The original god was Enki, and I guess over time it sort of transformed into a differently named god. Um, now, Enki was a Sumerian god in real life. It was a, a Sumerian-derived god who was also around in Babylonian and Arcadian times. But this cult has sort of changed over the years. Okay, so the key was not in the same spot, was it? No, the key was here before. But yeah, that's the broad strokes overview is that this cold is going to kill me in 30 minutes. So I have to do my utmost to get the fuck out of the break room. That's a cigarette. That's an ashtray. Okay, gotta find the key, gotta find the key, gotta find the key. Because there was a key here before. Now the key is not here anymore. Glasses. Apro. Coffee. Bottle of suds. Uh, I can't get out this way. Because I need a key to get into that door. Would they be on the ground? Mm, doesn't look like it. Eh, shut up, rat. The rat gets really old really quick. Um, where, oh where, could the key be? It's really dark in here too, oh. I didn't even know that there were drawers here. Last time I played. There's no key in that drawer. Oh, this is new information actually. Mr. White, to my elder brother in shadow. I cannot begin to articulate my excitement at your recent breakthrough. The way you have amplified the resonance frequency is groundbreaking. How did you settle on infusing the Sumerian symbols with prima mater materia? I must know. I've studied all your previous work, and I dare say that this, is, this may rival what you did on the transfer of hateful energies into symbolic metals. Perhaps, if we can replicate your process, I can make similar strides in my own research. Please do reply with detail... With details, post haste. My eagerness knows no bounds. May shadow keep you hidden. Demian or Damian, not sure. Clueless, idi clueless idiot. Remind myself not to announce further advancements in my ritual plans. Probably not a bad idea. Ah, oh, there's my key. Awesome. All right. Cool. And there's the devil guy again. Not too happy about that. But we're going to move on. Uh, nothing. And I've also got to keep an eye out for those plates. 
from the first playthrough so I know what the password is. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, you can go suck a dick or something. I don't fucking know. You need to go the fuck away, bro. Alright, and there is a little bit more information about Inky. I already pretty much went over the broad strokes of what he is, or she, I'm not exactly sure. But um, to them, it was a god of knowledge, which protected humanity from itself and its folly. Um, other religions had different opinions about that, obviously. And over time, his uh, appearance, his name changed, and he became something different. Let's go see if the password to this door changed. There should be a poster somewhere. Which is very nice of them to just put posters that have the codes to their hidden occult language everywhere. Would you stop it? Now, the one, the one downside I've noticed in this game is that they utilize the whole motion-activated jump scare thing way too frequently. It does not appear to be actually activated by how much time you have left. It's completely predicated on you being nearby, which they, they could have chosen a different route. I, I, I understand why they did it, but they could have done better. Because literally every time I go past a certain steam pipe, it'll go off. Right. And we have the number eight on what are you? The box. So the box is number eight now. Okay. Now your player, your the character you play, um, is most likely is most likely. I've never found that item. Um, the person who's being described in these medical notes, which apparently you're something special to them somehow. You have high levels of something. I don't know what, but either or. You have high levels of something in your system that they like. And that's why you're here, because you're going to be kind of sacrificed or killed or something awful. Some kind of awful. Okay, I didn't... Would you stop it? You see, the... See, I don't even know if the light bulbs are blowing out multiple times on purpose or not. This is a new door. This door was not here before. I like it. I like the fact that there's new stuff now. Would you stop it? Stupid ghost demon god monsters. Uh, oh, here we go. Dot, right, empty, left. Yeah, this game likes to shove loud sounds down your throat, so... If you're listening to this on a loud sound setting, I apologize. Alright. And we're in. And we got the last nail for the for the Christ puzzle. Four is star. And here's another book. Now this goes into the fact that in the modern age there are so many people that they have so many different people to sacrifice for what they call a culling for whatever weird ritual thing they're doing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, that was for this ritual sacrifice thing they have going on. Alright. Let's go ahead and do the... Oh, I don't have all the things I need. I'm missing one nail. Alright. Being said, I guess I need to keep my eyes out then. <clears throat> I apologize for all the noises I keep making. I, I'm starting to think I'm getting sick, and which would suck, but eh, it is what it is. Okay, I don't actually have a fuse for the door this time. Uh, in the previous playthrough, I got a fuse really, really early. I guess I better keep an eye out. Nothing on the floor, nothing in the sink. Oh, there's the last nail. Or maybe I overlooked the the, uh, the fuse and just didn't realize. Alright. And now the door should open. Awesome. Seven is the moon. So... Alright, there's a little bit more information about the patient. Seven is the moon. Still don't have the fuse though, but I do have a key. Well, 
one of one of multiple keys, I suppose. Um, nothing here. Nothing here. I need to keep an eye out for the thieves. Because the, having the door code is not going to matter if I can't actually power up the door. Nothing there. Nothing there. Um, an empty wallet. It's probably my wallet. Is there anything here? No. Fucking rats. Six. No. This is where I found the fuse before. Why did you stop it? This is where I found the fuse before. Packet of cigarettes. Nope. Oh, is this? No, that's the pill bottle. That's the book. Alright, well, let's continue investigating, I suppose. I'm thinking I overlooked the fuse. But either way, I'm still missing a, um... Bridge stapler. I'm still missing one of the... Actually, I think I'm missing two of the plate numbers. And I also have this... This half-shaped, half-moon-shaped object... Which I'm not exactly sure what that goes to. Well, it doesn't go to that, clearly. And I still have that one door that's completely boarded up. Oh, there's another key. Two keys. Two of three. Now, this game's gamma, even on my monitor, is actually really, really low. Um, let me fix that, because for recording purposes, it's probably really bad for you guys. I apologize. Because my monitor, by, by default, is pretty bright, but... It has not been kind in finding objects, that's for sure. Oh, wait. Oh, that's just a pill bottle. What the hell is that? Oh, my God, there was a door behind here. Um, can I crouch and get in? No. But I can move the frickin' table. That's awesome. I didn't even see this area before. I'm guessing this is me. Jesse White. Uh, Jesse Wright, Secretary of State, David C. Bishop. So I'm David C. Bishop, maybe. Maybe, perhaps, kind of, sort of. And now we have three keys. No, this is a kid. This is a kid's room. There's no way this is this guy's room. So maybe I'm not the patient that they're referring to. Maybe I am. I am just someone who's being sacrificed for the sake of this kid. Um, the cross is number five. Uh, can I open this? No, I cannot. There's a shadow man. I'm gonna take this with me. Just for the sake of it being right here. Oh, that was that was almost too convenient. Let's go open this door that has all this stuff in it. Bloop, bloop, and bloop. And hope we don't die. Because I have never been here before. Oh, it's a it's a furnace. Guessing this is where they dispose of the bodies. Yeah, that looks like a rope cage. Ooh, another person from Illinois, Sylvia A. Bishop. Oh, maybe these people are all victims because they did they did lead me to believe that you could collect information about previous victims. Oh, I got the fuse. Awesome. But there's still a plate I need. I could actually probably figure it out by brute forcing now, so I might just do that. So we leave ourselves off on a good note. But so five was the cross, seven was the moon, five 
Five was the cross, and seven was the moon, and four was the box. Four was the box. Do, do, do. You need to stop that. Or was the box in the seven? Oh. No. Wait. No. Four was the star. Eight is the box. Seven is the moon. Hell, I need to write this shit down. So, five, seven. Five, seven. Eight. Five, seven, eight. Unknown. And four. Five, seven, eight, unknown, four. Five, seven, eight. Gimme. Five, seven, eight, unknown four. All right, let's brute force it. Five, seven, eight, zero, four. Two, four. Two, four. Three, four. Four, four. Ah, that was it. Hey everybody, this is Zebra's Paradox, and welcome back to Inky. So we did lose a couple of seconds between episodes, but thankfully we didn't le lose too much. Uh, an armored key. Maybe that's the way out? The key to the way out? Which would actually be pretty awesome. Notepad. It has been ordained that man man be unchained and purpose regained, so that his fire within can be sustained. The acute uh, the acute a castle shadow is coming. False light has waned. The deity maimed. A coin obtained. True knowledge will be attained. The a castle shadow is coming. The weak will be shamed. The unworthy stained. And in the end, all of them will be claimed. The a candle shadow is coming. Okay, so this is a new one. So I'm going to read this one. Ava Satanus. Black candles burning, Satan invoked, sigils drawn, flesh is cut, and offering is made in the mass in the master's name. I have given you Satan, life force, blood spilled in your victory, Reda Satana, muse of our civilization, dread enemy of its tyrant god, Satan, mighty liberator, bearer of true knowledge, the immortal serpent, god of our flesh, Inki, god of our minds, Shaitan, god of our innermost will, and the three aspects of the old one, Ava Satanus. So, as I stated in my second in my second episode, no religious no religious information given is to be taken seriously. This is a work. This is a work of a gaming company. Therefore, it should be taken as fiction until further notice. So, don't freak out, people. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, they're they've been harvesting this stuff called Primus or something. I probably don't want to go into that circle lest I die. Um, feck. This is probably with the ritual area, is what it is. Well, I'm going to take the armored key. Actually, can I use this on any of these? No? I'm going to take the armored key and see if I can't get through the, the, the door that's over here. If so, we might have figured it out, but I'm wondering what this half-moon-shaped object is supposed to be used for, if that's the case. Because up to this point, we don't know. Oh, 
No oh, shit. Oh, damn. Um, okay then. Now, is this the end, though? I somehow doubt it. Oh, shit. We did make it. Well, that was short. I might just roll this into my previous episode then. But that's awesome. I really like this game. So we didn't find everything. We found four out of five lore objects, two out of five previous victims, and four out of five killer identities. But this leaves a lot to speculate about because this game revolves around this cult that sort of worships the devil or incarnations of the devil and kills people. Now, what we don't know is what the kid has to do with anything. The kid that they were sort of keeping in this room. Um, it's interesting, though, because this entire game sort of gives this overall arcing narrative that they don't appear to give you all the information from the get-go. You sort of have to learn it as you go, and you have to weigh those responsibilities of knowledge on top of the fact that you have a very limited amount of time before they just gas you and sacrifice you. This is really good game, and I highly recommend you check it out if you have the opportunity on Steam. It is relatively cheap. Um, I think it's like nine bucks. I could be wrong. At the time of the at the time I purchased it, it was on sale. So, but yeah, this has been an amazing game. I definitely recommend checking it out. So, this has been Inky by Storm in a Teacup. Well, the developer Storm in a Teacup. If you want to see more games like this, please make sure to like the video, comment in the comment section below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.